What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week 16 of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise, where the Crusaders are sitting at 12 and 3, moving into the final week of the regular season. Now, the Crusaders have struggled in playoffs past, failing in the Super Bowl on numerous occasions, and we finally feel like we have the roster to potentially finally bring home the Lombardi Trophy. You know, we brought in Yakov Moody, and that was a huge signing for us in the offseason. He's actually got over 1,400 yards receiving right now and things are looking pretty solid for this team but we need to make sure we take everything to the next level we need to make sure we play correctly make the right decisions in the playoffs if we're going to have a shot at getting to the Super Bowl again you know it's not an easy thing to do a lot can be made of all the Crusaders Super Bowl losses and everything like that but you know only one team can win every year the fact that we've been competing on a consistent basis I feel like really bodes well for our team and now a lot of our younger guys they have that playoff experience and we're actually thinking this could be the year that we do make it to the next level Keegan Gibson still needs to be resigned here you saw we got Reef back as well as Chauncey Green um Let's see what we could do. I don't know where... Okay, my cap room's sitting down there. Um, let's see what we can do to bring him back. You know, he didn't take that previous deal, which was right about what he wanted. We'll try raising it a little bit. We're giving him $2 million more a year than he is asking for. So I don't know why he would turn that down. Uh, but we, are, we definitely want Keegan Gibson back. You know, he's been a solid defensive tackle for us. And he's still very young and fits in with our team. So that's going to be a big player for us. Now let's go ahead and check out the stats. We'll look at the weekly awards really quick. And, you know, obviously uh, the, the stats for the entire NFL will be after this episode here. Uh, spins for the Cardinals, 25-31, four touchdowns, one interception, 328 yards. Who vol for the Giants, the free safety. We're familiar with him. 11 tackles, two interceptions, and a touchdown. Jace Richardson, 14 tackles, two interceptions. For the middle linebacker for the Jaguars, that guy is unbelievable. And then T.R. Foreman, 27-37, 385 yards and five touchdowns for him. Uh, let's look at the yearly awards. You know, we got one week left. Who is leading the MVP race right now? And are they going to be able to hold on to that through the final week of the season? Blake Bortles sitting at number one. Derek Carr for the Eagles at number two. Stuart Denny coming in at three. T.R. Foreman, five. Tremaine Small. Or wait, TR Foreman four, Tremaine Small at five, AJ McCarron at six, Devrin Golden at number seven, Colin Kaepernick eight, Andy Dalton nine, and Jared Trahan going to be at number ten. Again, we got one week left. We're not going to sit many players this week, I don't think. Wait, let's look at uh, the standings really quick before we make that call, I suppose. So let's find out where we sit in the AFC. Do we have that first round buy throughout? Because if we do, we don't mind sitting players. Um, and you know, right now we do, but the Texans and Colts are right on our heels. The question is if we lose and they each win, does that knock us down and out? I don't know. Um, I feel pretty comfortable with our team. What we might do is just play our starters for a bit. And if it looks like we're going to win the game, we might just sub them out immediately and uh, try to preserve them for the playoffs. We are going to have that first round buy, or at least we should, unless both of those teams pass us in the uh, case of a loss but I think we should be okay so what we're probably going to do again is just kind of chill for right now and uh, go into this game if, if things are looking pretty good for us early on we'll just make the substitutions needed and hopefully we can pick up a victory get that first round by and change things around the playoffs are right around the corner guys uh, and that's going to be it for this episode I know it's a little bit shorter but after this, we're going to have a super long news video after week 17 when we go over all the stats throughout the season and everything like that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the views. I know it's been a while since I've done this series. I apologize. Uh, just been focusing on the Aviators one. But I'm ready to finish this up once and for all. Get some closure for the Los Angeles Crusaders fans. And I will see you guys in week 17 as we take on the Carolina Panthers. Later.